Hi everyone. So what I thought I would do today is just a quick update on Dendron, uh, just to showcase a new feature that has recently been released. And this new feature is Multivault. So as we can see here, what I've just done is I've just initialized a Dendron workspace, uh, just with a few of the sample documents that come when you initialize the workspace. And to get Multivault up and running, what we can do is we just do Control shift p and this will bring up the various different options that we have. And we want to then search for Vault, and we've got Remove or Add, so we'll just go to the Add one, and we'll just click Enter. We want it locally, so just click Enter again. Here, what we'll do is we'll just give it a name, and we'll just call it Test Vault, just as an example. And we'll click Enter, and if we just click Enter again, what will happen is it will refresh and you can see then on the left hand side what we have is we've got the original vault that we created and now we've got a new one which is called test vault uh, which just has a couple of files in here and now in the very similar sort of way as we would create files uh, when we only had one vault what we can do is if we just do a new note uh, and let's just call this so we'll just call this test vault test not in vault 2. So that's, you can see it here, just created it here. And then what we can also do is we can also create a new note. If we just do that and we do new note in vault 1. So you can see now we've got the test note in vault 2 and the new note in vault 1. And so this is very cool because what you can now do is you can have two separate vaults. Let's say you want one for personal stuff and one for work stuff or you might have different projects which want different, which require different vaults. So this is very good just to keep things separate. Whilst at the main time, what we can do is link between the various different uh, vaults. So if we go here, for example, and I do the double square bracket, and we can see that it's allowing me to link to knots which are in a different vault. And this is great if you do want to have the, the notes stored in a different place, but then still be able to link between them. So I find this very useful. So what we can do is if we just click on this one here, this will come up in a very similar way um, as when we do normal linking. And if we just do that, we can see it, it opens up and it opens up the knot, which is in a separate vault. And this is also very good um, is that if we go to reveal an explorer, if we right click reveal and explore what we can see so this is how the files are structured so we've got our vault which is the main one and then we've also got the test vault which we've created and then there's the notes which we can see so you do still have access to the markdown file okay this one was empty so let's just add uh, So I'll just put some example text in there, it's just so you can see. So it's already added it in here in the, in the normal file, which you can open with Notepad or any other uh, different type of, of application. So you're not locked in or anything, um, but it's great because it does allow you to then just have the two vaults separated out, or as many as you wish, because we can do a new one. So if we do Control shift p We'll do Vault Add, we'll do Local again, and we'll call this Vault 3. This will refresh. And now you can see, if I just close these, we've got the three of them. Vault 3, Test Vault, and Vault. And if I go to File Explorer, and go here, there's the new one we've just created. And there's a couple of files that get created when you create a new vault. What we can also do is we can also delete or remove a vault. So if you just do Control Shift P again, so rather than adding a vault, what we'll do is we'll just click Vault Remove. This will bring up the option of the vaults that we can remove. And let's say we want to remove Vault 3. Again, it will refresh. And there you see, we now only have the two vaults left <coughs> uh, in the workspace. So we can we can add and remove as, as we wish and as we go along. So I thought this was a nice addition so say it allows you to keep your files and your projects or ideas separate while still being able to link between them. So I hope you found that useful and thanks very much for watching.